Hey guys, happy Sunday. Welcome to our morning daily meditations. Um, we are going to start out with our Just for Today book by N.A., our daily meditations. If you have this book, take it out, read along with me. I would love for you guys to do that. Today we're on page 17, January 17th, Forgiveness. In our addiction, we often treated others badly, sometimes deliberately finding ways to make their lives miserable. In our recovery, we may still have a tendency to pass judgment on others' actions because we think we know how that person should behave. But as we progress in our recovery, we often find that to accept ourselves, we must accept those around us. It may be difficult to watch as someone's insanity manifests itself. But if we detach ourselves from the problem, we can start living in the solution. And if we fi feel affected by another's actions, we can extend the principle of forgiveness. Just for today, I will strive to forgive rather than to be forgiven. I will try to act in such a way that I feel worthy of self-love. I always say this, I feel like a broken record. I have to come up with another way to express how I feel about these readings, but, and I'm not going to say this one, like, was on um, point for me, and I was like, you know, sometimes you get a reading and you're like, is the universe talking to me? This wasn't that, but it did come, it did come across some good things, and um, I can't say I deliberately treated others like shit when I was using because that's not the case. If anything, it was a complete opposite. The guilt ate me alive until, and that's why the cycle kept going on. Um, but I can relate to where it says, even in recovery, we have a tendency to pass judgment on others. I started really um, making it a point to notice when I would judge others and try to stop it or reverse it. And it made me sad because I realized I was doing it a lot and not crazy things, but like, you know, if I was out in the grocery store, I'd be like, ugh, why would she wear them pants or what? who the fuck am I? Look at me. Like, who am I to talk about her pants? Like, maybe I don't like the pants, but she likes the pants. Like, why did we... I, I, I just was a shitty friggin' person. And I would catch myself doing that quite a lot. And um, that's something I'm still working to change. Because it, it drives me crazy because it comes to me so naturally. Like, Why? Where did I think that that was okay? Where did that start? Um, <clears throat> you know, and I was a shitty human being for a long time. Even in high school, in my teenage years, my 20s. I was not someone that um, I'm proud of now in my, you know, late 30s that I am. But I'm really taking notice of the way I look at others and judge others because I'm nobody. I'm way down in the damn dirt. Like, who am I? You know? And if, if you get to know some of those people, they're like the best people in the whole world. But that little judgment you have on them may keep you away. Like, it's something I'm so ashamed of, but I'm willing to be raw and honest here because I don't know if anybody else can relate to that. Um, you know, you're out with your friends when you're younger and you say something, everybody laughs. Like, it's not funny. It's not at all. And um, I'm ashamed that I used to be that way or I do still sometimes catch myself judging people. Um, and you know what, too? You don't even know their story. So you're judging something. You don't even know what you're talking about. Like, it's so ugly in every single level. And it's something that I need to change and I'm actively working on changing it. So I started catching myself every time I would veer in that direction. And um, so that really reminds me of that. But I don't think it's just people that use and now are in recovery. I know a lot of people who have never touched a drug that are so shitty like, and that constantly judge people. So I... I don't think that this just pertains to addiction. I think this just pertains to people in general. 
And I am a firm believer that the person we are today has 90% to do with our experiences in childhood. Firm believer in that. So somewhere along the way, that was ingrained in us for whatever reason. It's our job now as adults to reverse that because it's not cute. Okay? So that's what I got out of that. The Language of Letting Go by Melanie Beatty. I got to get some different books, guys. I mean, I definitely want to still incorporate this one every day. but um, And I love this one. And I love to pair it with that one. But I feel like a broken record. And I feel like, you know, I want to incorporate some variety. I know Melanie Beatty has another book. Um, why am I thinking it's red? I may be wrong. But um, I'm pretty positive it's Codependent No More. And, um, you know, I got this, uh, from watching Peter Mon and he, um, reads this book over on his channel, Peterisms. And that is where that, that is why I ordered this book. So I remember him talking about codependent no more. So I don't know. I'm going to look into some other daily meditation books as a variety. If you guys know of any good ones. Leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. I will order whatever you guys recommend or would like to hear me read from. Um, so let's jump over to January 17th. Acting as if. Wait a minute. Is it? Oh my God. Okay. I don't even remember exactly. What... Okay. Let me just read the reading first. Okay. Acting as if. The behavior we call acting as if can be a powerful recovery tool. Acting as if is a way to practice the positive. It's a positive form of pretending. It's a tool we use to get ourselves unstuck. It's a tool we make a conscious decision to use. Acting as if can be helpful when a feeling begins to control us. We make a conscious decision to act as if we feel fine and we're going to be fine. When a problem plagues us, acting as if can help us get unstuck. We act as if the problem will be or already is solved so we can go on with our life. Often, acting as if we are detached will set the stage for detachment to come in and take over. There are many areas where acting as if, combined with our other recovery principles, will set the stage for the reality we desire. We can act as if we love ourselves until we actually do begin to love ourselves, care for ourselves, it says. We can act as if we have a right to say no until we believe we do. We don't pretend we have enough money to cover a check. We don't pretend an alcoholic is not drinking. We use acting as if as part of our recovery to set the stage for our new behaviors. We force ourselves through positive recovery behaviors, disregarding our doubts and fears until our feelings have time to catch up with reality. Acting as if is a positive way to overcome fears, doubts, and low self-esteem. We do not have to lie. We do not have to be dishonest with ourselves. We open up to the positive possibilities of the future instead of limiting the future by today's feelings and circumstances. Acting as if helps us get past shaky ground and into solid territory. God, show me the areas where acting as if could help set the stage for the reality I desire. Guide me as I use this powerful recovery tool to help create a better life and healthier relationships. I'm in love with this reading. In love. I want to write down, as a matter of fact, I am. As soon as I end this um, video here, I am going to write down this last little paragraph. God, show me the areas where acting as if could help set the stage for the reality I desire. Guide me as I use this powerful recovery tool to help create a better life and healthier relationships. Um, every day I try to say some positive affirmations and I think that would be a good, um, a good extension <clears throat> to that. <clears throat> the reason I was bucking out when I first opened the book and I saw acting as if and I don't even know if I should bring this up because I can't remember where I saw it. I was watching some 
a video or a um, YouTube little story from someone that was talking about the law of attraction and more positivity in your life. And she was talking about acting as if. Guys, I don't think I've ever heard that term before, like yesterday or the day before, and then it's in today's reading. So that's why I was a little bugged when I first opened it. But um, yeah, I've heard that saying, fake it till you make it, a lot. I never was a fan of it because I didn't understand it. So to me, I don't want to be fake and I don't want to fake anything. So I always was kind of turned off by that term or saying, whatever. Um, but I don't think it's about that. I think it's acting as if it already is as a way to call it in from the universe law of attraction kind of way. I think that's brilliant and I think it can work and I'm excited to incorporate it and try it. So let me know if you guys know anything about this acting as if, if you've tried it, if you believe or incorporate law of attraction any kind of law of attraction in your lives. Um, what's your experience with it? I'd love to hear down below. I am going to end this here right now today. Have a great day. Today's a good day for a good day. Please subscribe and thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.